Okay, so in this tutorial we're in 3ds Max. We're going to make a little camera rig. So I'm just going to start the scene and put an object in the center. We're going to put a teapot. And then we're going to make a path and we're going to have the camera follow the path. But I don't want to do just a regular link. Um, so if we go up under constraint, we can say path constraint. Because the camera will be locked to that path and I have no control over it. So we're going to make a little rig. I'm going to go and make a path. I'm going to go to top view circle and draw out a circle. Now I'm going to right click on the modifier stack and go to editable spline just to show you where it's going to start. So if I click on vertex this is our first uh, vertex. That means that if I lock an object to it it's going to start here and then follow back around. So I can go and change this vertex by picking make first. So let's say I want, instead of this to be the first vertex, I want this to be the first vertex. Then I just click Make First, then when I deselect, you'll see that one's yellow. And that will be the start of our object rotating in space. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to go into our Create menu, Helpers, Dummy. And I'll draw it out anywhere, uh, let's say about here. And then we're going to just so you can see us a little bit better, I'm going to go back into perspective view. And there's our dummy. With it selected, I'm going to go up under animation, constraint, path constraint, and then we're going to pick the path. And you'll see how it snaps to that path. So the vertex of um, the helper is going to snap to that first vertex in the path. So now when I scrub the timeline, you'll see it goes around. And if we look in the motion tab, you'll see that we have path constraint parameters. And down here it has path options, path percentage, and you'll notice as we go through, so if I have 100 frames in my timeline, 50% of the path is frame 50. And we can go and we can change this and animate this. So if we want this to be 100%, we can, we can just type in 100% and keyframe that. But what I want is I want to go and put a camera on this. So right now if we look at it, we're not getting it to follow the path in terms of its orientation. So it is staying at its same angle as we go along the path. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on follow. And then as it moves, it follows the path. Then the next thing is I'm going to make a camera. So we're going to go back up to that top view, just so it's a little easier for me to make a camera. And I'm going to go back into my Create menu to Camera and I'm going to pick a target camera and I'm just going to click and drag out my target. So this is where it's going to focus to. And if I just attach this to the path, it would stay focused here, but I wouldn't be able to make any additional movements to this. So we're going to keep that. I'm going to go back to perspective view just so we can get a better look at this. And now we have the camera lined up in the center of this helper on the path. So we're going to do a regular parent link constraint. So I'm going to click on this, have the camera click and drag to the helper. And now the camera is a child of the helper. So let me just click on the move tool. And as I drag, it stays on the path. So the advantage of having the camera attached to this helper is now I can actually animate the camera. So let's say at this point, I want the camera to be up above, looking down. Well, if I had it linked directly to the path, I'd have to manipulate the path to get this to work. So now I can just say, set key, set a keyframe, and then go forward a few frames and move it back down where I want it. Set a keyframe or do auto key. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to have it truck in set a key, and then when we get back to 100, I can truck it back out. So let's move that down, so we can have that move up. So we'll copy this, so we will hold Shift C and drag a copy of that down. 
have our camera move. So that's how you constrain an object to a path and also have a little bit more control with a, a slight camera rig.